Contributor Steve Perry made his name as a school principal with a tough love approach. In tonight's Perry's Principles, he sits down with former Republican Senator Trent Lott, who left politics in 2007 and is now a lobbyist. We were curious to hear his take on education reform. His old commander in chief, George W. Bush, said he made it his signature issue. Here's what Lott had to say. The answer on education is not just more money. It's not just stimulus money. It's not just much money for technology. It's how you use that money. And I emphasize rewards and incentives rather than punishments for the kids or for the teachers. You know, that is, we you all know, you talk don't about want to hear that, though. Yes. Yeah, I know, and I think that's wrong. I think that tenure and seniority as the only, uh, you know, criteria for uh, staying in position and getting pay is not, not, the, not the right thing. I mean, this is America. In America, you work hard, you give it your best, you show results, and you can succeed. Some of the traditional Republican beliefs would seem to benefit minorities, especially yeah. homeschooling. Charter the, schools. Charter schools. Why is it that you feel that the minority community has not embraced the principles when they hear them come from the Republican Party? A lot of it is because Republicans, when they start talking, don't talk, talk about education. Okay. You've got to talk about it, you can't, and you've got to go there where they are. You've got to go to the best public school in the state, the best private school, but you've got to go to the really poor school. Uh, I thought that we were, we were not focused uh, properly. We were doing things that helped people temporarily but didn't help them get a bridge to a better education and a better life and a better job. In the Mississippi Delta, 70% of the African-American males do not finish high school. You've got to do something about that, because their next ticket is to the state penitentiary. I just wonder if some of the reason why uh, the black community in particular and, and other minority communities, and specifically poor communities, have had trouble believing in the Republican Party is because of some of the decisions that the Republicans have made. That's what the Democrats say, and that's, that's what they want to talk about. Let's talk now about a Republican agenda. I think there are many aspects to what uh, the Obama administration and Secretary of Education Arne Duncan is doing and the race to the top that has some positive features. Let's hear about that, because I'm, I'm very interested in hearing what you're uh, saying. I, I think that they are trying to prove the quality of education uh, to, you know, uh, improve you know, the quality of teachers, which they're getting some resistance on, uh, th that they are trying to modernize uh, schools uh, to, you know, to use technology to help track students and how they're doing. I'm sure that uh, I wouldn't agree with all of it, and there was $10 billion in there for education. Now, I didn't think that they used that $10 billion all that wisely, uh, but uh, to give incentives to find and, and help teachers, and to have better quality teachers, to give incentives for schools to, to work to make their programs uh, better for all their, their students, there's some good things uh, in that program. What would you say to your former Republican colleagues to get them back in the ship that was leading the way in many ways on education Well, first reform. of all, uh, there's going to be an election, and the numbers will be different uh, come, uh, come uh, this fall. Uh, it's, and you're going to need leadership from the president and from the, the leaders in the Congress and say, all right, uh, we're not going to continue down the path we've been going for the last two years. We're going to take, maybe we'll take up a different order of priorities. One of those could be education. So, Steve, where do, I mean, where do Democrats, in your opinion, and Republicans agree, and where do they differ on education reform? I think we have to first start with the challenge here. The challenge is, how do you overcome the traditional party lines? And the principle, the Perry principle, is that we have to accept that answers come from all over the political spectrum. Where I think the Democrats and Republicans differ is where their allegiances lie. Many of the Republican, especially the right wing, focus on a, a group of people who want to have their children in schools of their choice. And the Democrats tend to focus on the labor. Where they need to come together is they need to understand that we're all here for children and to find a way to see what it is that we both can do together to create a better educational experience for all of American children. Hmm. All right, Steve, thanks very much, Steve Perry. That does it for 360 tonight. Thanks for watching. Larry King starts now. I'll see you from the Gulf tomorrow night.